Yo, what's going on guys? Kane is back into the meta full swing as an absolute carry beast. You can start solo in your own jungle, solo in the enemy's jungle. Basically, Riot gave monsters more gold, which helps Kane out a lot since he's a full clear type of jungler. And on top of that, they let you take enemy jungle camps as fast as your own now. So instead of taking the 20% slower, you take them full speed, which is great for Kane because he has amazing cheeses in his kit. Now, his best cheese is to take Raptors, float over the wall with E, kill them on their red buff. However, we're not going to be doing that cheese because it's a Pantheon. I don't want to get stunned level 1. That would suck. So instead, I'm going to go solo star on their wolves. That will suit me just fine. Kane has some of the best invades in the game simply because of his Q short cooldown. It can go over walls and it clears very quickly. We have first strike, free boots, futures with cosmic, sudden, Treasure Hunter with double AD armor. As you can tell from our build, we're going for blue cane. We're going to go ahead and start on wolves because we can take those quickly. Wolves and wraps is your best solo starting camp on cane. If you want to start on a buff, then generally you're going to want to get a leash. We could smite the wolf. It's fine though. Our Q is on a cooldown anyway, so we'd get to blue buff without really having an ability up. This is going to wreck Lilia. If Lilia misses out on camps... It slows her down a lot because she can't keep her prance up. Auto attack Q. Taking it super fast, super healthy. Kane is a balanced, healthy jungler who is 100% good for League of Legends. <laughs> He's good for the health of the game. And if enemies end up messing with you, you can easily escape and still stay in their jungle. There's no real way to actually kill Kane. I'm going to go ahead and take Krugs now for level 3. You have to take Krugs or Gromp. For level three out of three camps so now she'll miss out on wolves and she will lose literally all of her prance go ahead and q in to finish the deal got our w now i don't see where she's at if she vertical she would have missed a bunch of cs though you want to take ignite ignite has a 55 percent win rate on kane versus flash is 50 percent overall the build we're running has currently a 61 percent win rate we're going to be looking for a mana into prowlers here tier prowlers i didn't actually see where lilia was i was looking on the mini map there for a moment but apparently we saw her somewhere with 12 cs she's going to be finished yep there she is exactly where i thought she'd be cool so we are close to level four we can continue our full clear even with starting on wolves and then doing blue we're sitting pretty you don't even really need to start potion on Kane. I only did just in case the early game turned into more of a scramble. Because that happens sometimes. Sometimes the top laner or the enemy bot lane, they try to push you off stuff even though they can't because they lose a lot and you don't lose anything. Other than the mobility, Kane's... Ooh, hey buddy. Yeah, you can't do that against Kane. That is a big no-no. You absolutely are not allowed to do that. I'm gonna Q through, get it with the smite. Lily is bonking me real hard there. I'm gonna just finish my Gromp. We're up CS on her. We also got a lot of essence off of her. Unfortunately, it's the wrong essence because Riot coded her to be a melee champion because Lily became unviable after they nerfed Demonic for range champs. We want blue essence, so we want to hit Jin. Vigar are the main targets. Go ahead and pop potion here. I don't want to be the first one in. Q through. Auto attack. Yeah, Pantheon's full committed here. Got red buff autos on Jin. I don't know if he has flash or not. You would think he would. I'll go ahead and just ignite him. I want the blue essence. I guess he doesn't have flash. That's a double for Kane. Your worst counters to Kane is yourself. Nothing counters Kane. <laughs> I would say your actual legitimate worst counter would be Fiddlesticks. His fear, very tough. His drain drains you even if you go inside of him or somebody else. Outside of that, nothing counters Kane. Anyone who tells you Kane has a counter other than Fiddle Jungle is lying. You don't even have to go for Oracles on Kane since you can go through walls. Wards generally aren't an issue. So, on top of that, they nerfed Oracles. And the patch before that, they buffed sweet, they buffed the Warding Totem. So Warding to Totem is a very low cooldown, and Sweeper is pretty high cooldown, honestly. I don't really want to gank the uh, Udyr here. But if it's a free gank, it's a free gank. 
The reason why I say I don't want to gank is I would rather get the uh, blue essence, of course. Looks like he ran off for a ward. The later in the game it is, the more essence you get when you attack somebody. Go ahead and Q into him. Auto attack into W. You don't generally want a W early because it's easy for people to dodge and they're expecting it. It's kind of like a blitz hook. Everyone knows about it. So you usually want to auto then Q or Q auto then W. Try to get as close as you can. My goal here isn't to steal her CS. It's just to push the wave. I think we can stop this guy from getting back. At least mess with this chick. Auto attack into W. That sucks that I miss, messed up my smite. Oh well. We'll go ahead and Q this way. I'm not sure where Vigar is at. He's not particularly fed, but I'd rather not blind face check him. Sure enough, he's right here. I don't think he can kill me without R. Oof, yeah, I would like to put some damage on him. Cast is kind of scaring him away, though. Tried to Q through, couldn't get through in time, though. Missed him with the W, got him with the auto. I don't think Lily is going to be here in time necessarily to stop this. We take stuff so fast. No, there's nothing she can do about it. This is not an easy matchup for full clear junglers to play against. Kane clears faster than most full clear junglers, and he can invade effortlessly. Plus, his damage is high. His Q is one of the highest damage abilities in the game. Can go bot lane here in a moment. I think Lily is still here. But I should be able to do something with my Ignite R. Ignite R will chunk. Get the gin. Yes. Auto attack into the W. He's slowed. We may not get the kill, but that's alright. Sitting on a decent amount of items. Let's see if she already took her red. She actually left it. That's smart of her. She couldn't really fight me on it. I'm going to pull it away from this area. I want to give myself space to run away. Ignite's also kind of nice on Kane because you can ignite someone and then R them. You have to deal damage to somebody though before you can R. Got it. Got her th that. Um, might actually not be able to kill her though. I got slowed. That sucks. What a waste of my ignite. He was a little bit faster than walking. Very close to my second form here. Blue buffs up in 20. I'll split up my folk. I can just do wolves. Blue and Gromp. Full clear is more for the super early game. You don't have to maintain it. It's a good baseline way to establish yourself and get a lot of value. But uh, once you have your R, your R's up, you're almost second form. You don't have to stay that stagnant. Plus, I don't think top lane's necessarily even gankable right now. I really is about to solo kill him. The best way to handle Kane is to know where he's starting. It would have helped Lily out a lot not to path through dead space in her jungle. With that being said, she can't vertical the same way we can because we're Kane. She would lose all of her movement speed. So, any way you slice it, the enemy jungler will fall farther behind than where you'll be at on Kane. But basically, yeah, she path through dead space, which is really inefficient. Oof. I would like to gank. Got him with the W. Both got my R down. I didn't actually dodge a turret shot with it, though. Auto attack Q. Got a lot of blue essence off that. Hopefully, we get blue form. And we don't. Feels bad. We need to consume more blue essence. I don't want to play red cane right now. I mean, red cane with prowlers is fine, but I'd rather play blue cane with first strike. Auto Q W. Your W can't be cancelled once you start it, so we might as well use it right when the dragon's about to knock us back. Thresh really shouldn't be tanking here. Maybe he wants to reset anyways, though. He's standing so close, he's clearly wanting to tank. Auto attack in the Q. My top side's vulnerable. Looks like Lily just took the Herald instead. 
I'm okay with that. Jin's freezing. I can't really touch Vigar. It's time for me to reset. I guess we could go Red Cane here. I think Blue Cane's better right now, though. Blue Cane's a bit spicier. We'll push for Lucids, grab this, and wait for the Blue Cane. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to play Red Cane this game. I don't think it would make sense into a Vigar. We need to be able to be mobile with our E and W and get down poke and force reactions. Red King can't do that. He's too slow. And he has to stand still to cast W, which is going to get us melted by their CC. Pantheon Stun, Uder Stun, Lily Sleep, Vague Cage, Jin Snare. Every one of them has a way to kind of just follow it up. Max our W second. My R is about to be up. This guy's about to get toasted. I mean, you can turn around and hit me if you want, dude. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You're, you're doomed. Auto in the queue. Did let some turret go there and some minions. Shaved about 15 seconds off of our passive option. It's not that much time shaven. With the Prowlers, it basically makes it to where people can't get away from you. It's a better version of a flash if you're being offensive because it sticks to them and puts you behind them. So even if they flash away, it sticks. Like I said, on Kane, you don't need oracles. It's not important. With, with how much they nerfed oracles and with them buffing the warding totem at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of oracles on a lot of junglers right now. Like Jax, I wouldn't even bother with oracles right now. If you're a champion that can specifically benefit from the warding totem as well. Hey friend, I took a lot of damage from that. I went inside, that was kind of awkward. Good tank from Varus, Jin R does nothing if you're high HP percent wise. It does more the, as an execute. I don't know where the Vigar is, so I don't want to dive. In theory, you do more damage. Well, not in theory, but you literally do more damage if you start your combo with Prowlers because it makes you do 15% increased damage for the next three seconds against that target, so... If you do believe you'll need the overall burst, an extra 15% damage, you would want to start your combo with an E, Prowlers, W, Q. Generally, that's not the case, though. You normally don't really need that extra 15% to where you'll normally use your Prowlers. It's just, oh, I can't reach you with my autos anymore. Or, oh, I can tell you about the flash, so I'm going to pound you with Prowlers. He's on a long cooldown because I'm not Blue Cane. Blue Cane has a low E cooldown. Time for me to reset. I'll leave that right there. We're about to try and stop my recall. Now we got the blue cane. Go for mana moon. Blue cane needs mana moon. Because he has a very low cooldown on his E. So you're going to spam it all the time. Only 5 seconds compared to 14. Balanced, right? Very, very cool. On blue cane, you're also immune to slow. So even if you're in combat, you can still stay in the wall. Or structures for a second and a half. To where even if they start hitting you. You can always get away since you're moving so quickly. Faster and slow immune. Go ahead, get him with the W, Prowler Q, down you go. Spicy. You can look for permit invades. Kane's level 1 invades, the best solo invade in the game. And, uh, I mean, once you have your second form, you can solo most junglers anyways, plus Lily's behind and I'm ahead, so... Permit invading from here makes total sense. There's no real downside. We can slice up her jungle. She'll miss out on Prance as well. People don't typically chase Kane. If they do, they're making a huge mistake because they can't get to you. I have my R. We'll get him with the A W Q auto R. Got him with Ignite. R out. And Q over the wall. WQ, I have my E to escape and to also heal here. Blue Cane R also has more range than Red Cane. Red Cane just isn't as good if you need mobility. If the enemy team is full five melee champions, then sure, Red Cane's probably better. They, they, they've buffed Blue Cane way too much throughout the, throughout the seasons. 
because Redkin was always like, okay, so basically slightly less mobility, but more damage and more healing. Now, dude, Red Cane can't even match Blue Cane damage, the consistency, the speed, the mobility, and it's just, ugh. The only thing Red Cane does objectively better is self-healing. That is it. I'm going to queue away. I need to build up some distance. I see Vagar is coming over here. I don't really know what he has. We can poke him with a W. Get first strike gold off of it if it was up. To get him low to set up a kill. Also get him away from my teammates. I'm running low on mana even with 16 mana regen. He's so expensive. It's the only thing that stops Kane from being an S++++ solo laner top lane. Kane top is still viable, but the E cost is what kind of keeps it in check here. I can go for... Nah, well... I guess I'll back up Cass here. Right, she's in the cage. They're not really looking to follow it, though. That's perfect. WQ, down you go. I didn't even get an assist for slowing him from W. My goodness. My word. Back in my day. W Prowler Q auto. He's dead. Get the R out. Very cool. <laughs> K needs to be removed from the game or heavily nerfed. He breaks the fundamentals of everything. It's too much, man. He's Yasuo if Yasuo <laughs> didn't have cooldowns and could fly through walls. Like, I get Yasuo has low cooldowns, but it's situational. It's mainly to go through minions and whatnot. He has to have enemy minions to dash through. He can't dash through his own. We'll queue away, get him with smite. Be over the wall and we're chilling. I'll ignite him. I'll queue through. And he dies for it. I got a shutdown. He didn't get a shutdown. Did he not get a shutdown? Why didn't I have a big shutdown on my head? I'm super fed. Looter has shut down Kane. Okay, yeah. So he got a thousand gold from me. That's what I'm hearing. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. I was like, I'm super fed. Yeah, he got a big shutdown. That's worth for him. Got Mana Moon, and next we'll go straight on into probably Surlds. It's the highest win rate. Plus, the Surlds slow makes it to where they can't really keep up with you. Solid penetration. We're all physical damage, really, other than some damage on our passive. Very cool damage output. The passive damage is only, I believe, against champions, though. Yeah, so after entering combat, your attacks and abilities deal an additional 34% magic damage for 3 seconds. And pretty sure that's only against champs. It doesn't specifically say, but I'm not seeing anything to suggest otherwise. W Prowler Q, Auto R, goodbye Lilia. Oh yeah, Uder's trolling around over here. I have my blue jungle item as well, so I'm moving really, really fast. I'm immune to slows as well. Whenever I touch a bush, I go supersonic speeds. I'm moving 520. Hey friend. Do a bit of damage, get a bit of gold off of him. We've already gotten nearly two free kills worth of gold off this. Plus, it's done almost 600 damage, which is solid for a, a rune 20 minutes in. It's not horrible. Decent enough. Looks like I really is farming my Krugs. With my penetration, I should be able to slice this guy up. Hey, friend. Get with the WQ. I'm inside of you. R out, down you go, buddy. <laughs> I gave him an enema. Turd Surfer Kane. Why? Right, give me that skin. 
This champion is a turd surfer. We need to get back into his jungle. There's zero risk with this champion. The risk of taking camps is less than 1%. You have to have certain champions to pin you down, like a Malzar or Fiddle Fear. No cooldowns, I love it. We can get every single dragon as well. Blue Kane, in theory, should fall off late game. He doesn't, though. He's been overbuffed. His late game's just fine, as long as you don't sprint in 1v5 and fight to the death. You have to be willing to soften people up if they're looking tough, if they're looking strong. Beefy, thick, juicy, ripe, fed. Take your time, EWs, EWs. Once you get a feel for your damage output against them and they're given items and champions, then you can all in. But until then, you can get a really good feel out of just EWs. He panicked there. I don't even think that was going to hit him. It's going to be close, though. It's not worth me dying for him. I'm not even going to get 300 gold off of him. Lily's in trouble. I touched the bush. Oh no! Oh no, don't kill me! Oh, don't kill me! I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> I'm Kane! I am no mere ordinary champion. Only champ in the game. I guess LeBlanc can do stuff like that too. She has longer cooldowns though. Five seconds is next level. You don't have flash. That juke was nasty, Jin. I queue away and I live. That hits. In what universe, dude? In what universe does that hit? I didn't recognize the angle, that's what happened. I'm inside of you. I'm also out of mana. I need to grab a blue buff or something, dude. These E's are sucking me dry. That's why you have to go for mana moon. <laughs> tier is an important first item purchase. Don't finish the mana moon, just chill on the tier. Get prowlers into the mana moon. You can't get away. I'm moving close to 700. WQ can't reach him for the prowlers. Wait, does he actually think he gets away? Uh, he actually kills me there. Wow. I thought I had my R up. That's my bad. He does have double armor. He's two full item versus my two full plus plated. So we're the same items there. The difference is I didn't have my R. If I have my R, he's 100% dead. Swirls will help out a lot with that type of thing. I think Yomu's is a bit overkill. I think I'd rather have... Eh, never mind. Let's go Yomu's. <laughs> I want more. Well... The thing is, we could go Yomu's and be faster, but we're already so fast. I kind of feel like Cleaver's better for more ability haste. 400 health, so Uder can't kill us. And with the percent base penetration, we could slice Uder up. I think that would be best. I'll be heading over to blue now. We can finish wrapping up this game. Should have killed that wolf, right? Wow, the wolf didn't die to that W. My goodness. We need to keep consuming as many resources as we can, ideally without dying. The amount of pressure Kane can put across the map with blue jungle item versus green or red. Like red's nice for a little bit of extra damage that you don't generally need. Green, you kind of have to go up versus fiddle. Otherwise, blue is the only one that speeds up your clear because you move faster. Red doesn't do anything against monsters. Green effectively doesn't your full health anyways you're losing all your health here buddy I can do it all day long with my blue buff I, I nearly I did half of Jin's health holy crap my goodness Pantheon my R for this I'm 
Lighter, Vigar. I don't have turret, I can poke away at this. I have the wall to hover through on my E. Yeah, they don't want to come deal with me, I don't blame them. And you are out of here. The Q dash is so, the R dash is so long on blue cane. I'm dead. That's unfortunate. We did get a kill. And we do get Baron off of it, but I'd rather live, obviously. Oh, they got a good cutoff route. I was still technically within combat. I think it's like a five second timer between the last time you dealt damage or took damage against an enemy champion on Kane when you go into a wall. So there I didn't get to stay in the wall and I lost the mobility. If I had waited maybe a second or two, been a little more patient, I might have been able to get away there with the extra mobility. Or if I had Yomus, I definitely lived there for sure. We get the blue board for now. And that's Drag Soul. Certainly not my favorite one for a champion like Kane. I would much rather have the Flame or preferably the Wind Drag for extra movement speed. Wind Drag movement speed's kind of absurd. Varus, why are you taking my camps? I'll be taking this. There's somebody over here. Eclipse is viable on Kane. It's not as useful as you'd think, though, for a blue Kane. Blue Kane can choose all of his engages to the point where, why bother? You don't need to necessarily have a shield. You can choose exactly when you are and aren't going to go in. My auto's chunk. My prowler's on a cooldown here. I don't really want to fight Uyr. He has a bunch of armor. I'd want to have time to whittle him down. See how much damage my W can do against this guy. That's actually a lot. Holy crap. I gotta get on the Uyr here. Oh, missed. Got him. Woo! Alright, that W did some damage. Cast behind it. There goes the inhibs. There's too much pressure for them to soak right now. Hey, friend. Whoa! That W chugged! I ignited her head. She dies from ignite. <laughs> Kane is so overtuned, man. You guys should definitely play him while you can. He's got a pretty good ban rate, pretty good pick rate. Pick him before he gets nerfed. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, I mean champions, we have the most in the game at 28,000 for damage taken. Most in the game at 33,000. For self-mitigated, probably not the Well, almost the most. If you count self-mitigated and damage taken, we still took the most in the game quite comfortably. Very cool. For runes, really high value. All in all, Kane is extremely overtuned. I'm talking base Kane is overtuned. Blue Kane is overtuned. And red Kane... Eh, pretty balanced. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.